Okay, now final question, Drew, just looking media priorities 2017, where, you know, what should your customers, what should the ecosystem be uh, prioritizing in terms of security? You know, what should, what would be your sort of two or three recommendations for what you should be looking at now? I mean, given the, the, the rise of the Internet of Things and the associated concerns around that. Yeah, I, I would say, um, you know, a, as the perimeter continues to erode, um, as data finds itself uh, in more and more distributed places, and as IoT becomes a much more business critical function, we're seeing a lot of IoT devices being embedded inside of businesses uh, to perform mission critical functions. So your your data and your infrastructure is beginning to get uh, more spread, and uh, different a, a, a vast variety of different sorts of devices are becoming more integrated into the critical infrastructure of companies. Um, it really becomes contingent upon the the the, the security uh, owner of that infrastructure um, to to better partner with not only their own organization but with their vendor community, with their ISP community, uh, and with the security community. Um, the the time for us to start sharing information about security threats and the time for us to start integrating that data directly into vendor solutions. Is becoming more and more critical. So, what I what I, uh, I I have sort of two avenues, my my prediction on threats, and my uh, my hope for uh, the the overall security community. My prediction on threats is uh, is everything from I really believe that that uh, now. By the way, I had this prediction in January, and now it, it looks uh, uh, it, it, in, in in reflection. It, it's a great prediction, uh, but uh, but saying it now after after WannaCry uh, is is uh, a little flat. But uh, I think ransomware is is going to continue to be a significant threat uh, for the community in general. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we we saw a significant uptick in 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 ransomware development and uh, and and ransomware lab testing of organized crime. And we had predicted uh, in late December, early January, that ransomware was going to be a pretty significant threat. Uh, and then, and then WannaCry uh, happened. So it sort of justified, uh, unfortunately, justified our, our prediction. But but based on how WannaCry occurred, and uh, the the overall success that that it had, you know, where the bad guy was looking for the sort of underpinnings of technology uh, in in the internet that are sort of widespread and very difficult to fix. Uh, a lot of bad guys spend their time finding those sort of uh, anchors of, of security exposures so they can launch these sort of worldwide campaigns. Um, and so while I think WannaCry got out of hand, I don't think it, 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 uh, I don't think it had the intention of the way the bad guy wanted it to. I don't, I don't think any bad guy wants that amount of attention that quickly. Uh, I do think that, that uh, a nation state who wants to cripple uh, internet infrastructure by encrypting um, uh, internet devices at random and then throwing away the key, that th those are huge concerns uh, of ours uh, as we progress into this year and next year. Uh, DDoS attacks with regards to IoT devices, I think that uh, there is a significant industry in renting uh, botnets. So as a botnet operator, botnet operators are, are, are able to make uh, a fair amount of money uh, in being able to rent out those botnets to people who want to either send a message to their competitors uh, who, or who want to extort other sites for money uh, based on a DDoS attack. So we're seeing a huge sort of increase in IoT research by the bad guys looking for that sort of next large attack against IoT devices, whether they're home routers or DVRs or so on. With regards to my hopeful predictions, um, it's really twofold. I, I, I think that, uh, I think, again, the time for the community to start sharing information is critical. I think that the community shares information at, at layers really, really well. I think all, all the application security researchers share application security data very well. I think antivirus vendors share antivirus information very well. But sharing across ecosystems is still uh, something that we have not accomplished as, as a security ecosystem. The bad guys are sharing more information faster than we are uh, as a community. And so us being able to uh, to share information up and down the ecosystem 
so that your network provider can have the same information that your antivirus vendor is aware of so that everything can, can be protected at once, I think is critical for us. And then at the same time, having a, a standard feed that can be put into security vendors, I think is gonna be a game changer for the security community. If we can take things like Sticks or Taxi or things like uh, DOTS, the uh, denial of service open threat uh, signaling protocol, and be able to feed that into security vendors, then not only can the security community create a industry-wide um, threat reputation uh, system, it can feed that data into security vendors all at once. And again, all of your security apparatus will be protected at exactly the same time using the exact same knowledge base. And I think that'll be a game changer for how we make it more expensive for the bad guys to operate.